Hello student, today we are going to study laboratory preparation of ethane, acetylene gas. Ethane is also called acetylene. Acetylene is the common name of ethane. Ethane is IUPAC name. And principle involved in this preparation is when water is dropped over heated calcium carbide, calcium carbide which is obtained by heating limestone and coke and formula, molecular formula for calcium carbide is CaC2. We get acetylene gas. Calcium carbide, when react with water, it gives ethane gas and plus calcium hydroxide. Here the chemical reaction we are showing calcium carbide plus water, 2 moles of water and this carbon bonded with hydrogen of each water molecules and forms ethane gas plus calcium hydroxide. Here the laboratory preparation diagram is showing we have to require here chemical chemical require apparatus require is a conical fax dropping funnel absorption tower a receiver here and the gasser so we have to here in procedure lumps of calcium carbide carbide is taken in a conical fax of a layer of sand here is the layer of sand and calcium carbide is taken the flax is fitted with a dropping funnel this flax is fitted with a, this, this is the dropping funnel. H2 is dropped from the dropping funnel over calcium carbide. Here water is dropped from the dropping funnel over calcium carbide. Then ethane gas is liberated here, liberated, which is passed through acidified solution of copper sulphate, which is passed through the acidified solution of copper sulphate, which remove impurities like H2S, PS3, NS3, ASS3, hydrogen sulfide, phosphine, ammonia, and arsenic hydride. And this impurities is, uh, is absorbed by this copper sulfate, acidified copper sulfate. Here the impurities react with copper sulfate and give black PPT. Here H2S react with CuSO4, it gives copper sulfide. And ethane is passed in this gas are the pure ethane gas is collected gas are by downward displacement of water ethane gas ethane gas is lighter than air so it is collected downward and it is insoluble in water so collected with water so ethane is dissolving uh, soluble in organic solvent like alcohol ether etc and we can study the properties here of ethane, physical properties. In physical properties, we can see H2H2 is a, a colorless, odorless. But if there is a garlic odor, it means there is a presence of some impurities, presence of impurities. Melting point of ethane is minus 84 degrees Celsius. In physical taste, it bonds with a luminous flame and forms explosive mixture with air. And in chemical test, we, it gives us unsaturation test with potassium, pearl magnet and bromine water. But, but to distinguish ethene from ethane, we have, to, we have to take a chemical reaction here with ethene and ethene and ethane. Both give unsaturation test, unsaturation test with potassium permanganate KMnO4 and bromine water potassium permanganate and bromine water so to distinguish ethene from ethane we have a special test with ammonical silver nitrate solution here if if ammonical silver nitrate solution is react with ethane gas ethane gas here as C triple bond C H react with silver nitrate solution ag no3 plus ammonical silver nitrate that is a ag no3 plus ns4 yes it gives ag c triple bond c ag this is silver acetylide this is silver acetylide and this is white ppt white ppt this is a 
white PPT plus it also gives uh, ammonium nitrate and S4NO3 plus H2O. You can balance this two here, A2 and here nitrogen 2, here nitrogen 2 to 4, here is 2 and here is 2. But but ethene does not give but CH2 double bond CH2 plus AgNO3 plus NH4H no reaction. So both give unsaturation taste. We can we can see the properties of unsaturation and to distinguish ethene from ethene we have to react with silver nit uh, silver nit ammonical silver nitrate solution and ethane gives white ppt that is a silver acetylide but but ethene does not give ethene does not give white ppt it does not react with ammonical silver nitrate solution 